Um, here's just a quick thought for you all. Say you're the son of God, who is God himself, you know, God, and you come to earth and um, to give a message and to heal people and so on. You see someone who's having a spasm attack, that, you know, they're su suffering from epilepsy, but everyone thinks that this person's possessed by a demon. You cure the person of their epilepsy. Do you then say, mm, it wasn't a demon, guys, okay? Um, I'm God, I know everything. It's actually epilepsy. There's no such thing as demons, it's epilepsy. Now, and then go launch into a long-winded explanation of what epilepsy is. And then, having explained that, would you then go and explain how you cured it? Mm, no one's going to know what the hell you're jabbering on about. It's like, it would be like speaking Greek to them. Unless they were Greek, but you know what I mean? It's like, you know, it would be like speaking Greek to us. It would just be meaningless jabber. So what do you do when you cause these miracles and stuff and you explain your teachings? Well, obviously, an almighty God would know that he would have to explain it to people in a way that they would understand, just like a, just like a good teacher knows the level at which his students can understand. So Jesus, a.k.a. God, would explain it in terms of demons, possession. He'd explain it in terms of, um, you know, Noah and his ark, Jonah and the whale. So, here we are. Just thought I'd leave those thoughts for you.